throughout life, I think it's really important to have a knowledge about your hormones. Now, there's so many things, even for young women, that you can do to help. Like, you know, people can track their hormones. They can keep a record of how regular their cycles are. Your menstrual cycle is actually a barometer of your health. So when you're a young woman, you you know, ideally you should be having regular periods that are not overly painful, not overly heavy. If there are any issues with that, then that means that there's some imbalance in your body. Mm. And so that is something that you need to address. When women get into their 40s, it's really important to have an understanding of the hormonal changes you can expect. Now, a lot of women are having children in their early 40s. So very often women are having um, pregnancy, uh, uh, often assisted fertility, and then they're going into an early perimenopause. I mean, I see a lot of women who've had repeated IVF treatments and because their body's just been bombarded with hormones, they very often then will go into the perimenopause earlier because mm -hmm. also, you know, that's a lot of stress on the body. Yeah. So, you know, so you'll find you, you know, they may have young children and they've already started their perimenopausal journey. The things you need to look out that are indicative of perimenopause or hormonal imbalance are if progesterone, so one, if your cycle has become erratic or becoming closer together, if you're having insomnia, if you're having anxiety, any kind of mood changes, if you've got breast tenderness, if you've got weight gain, all of these things can be symptoms of the perimenopause.